Hello and welcome to another problem solving session on factor theorem and remainder theorem. In this particular uh, question, we are going to use remainder theorem to solve uh, the particular question. Now, uh, the question is, let R1 and R2 be the remainders when fx, which is given by this polynomial, x cubed plus 2x square minus 5kx minus 7, and gx, which is given by x cubed plus kx square minus 12x plus 6, are divided by x plus 1 and x minus 2 respectively. That means what? x plus 1 is dividing fx and x minus 2 is dividing gx. If twice r1 plus r2 is 6, this is the condition. You have to find out the value of k. Where is k? So this k here and another k is here. So both are same, right? Okay, so let's try and solve this problem. Now, by remainder theorem, we know that if if fx is divided by fx is divided by x plus 1 right then remainder is remainder is simply f of minus 1 y minus 1 if you remember what was our remainder theorem if fx is divided by ax plus b, okay, ax plus b is the linear polynomial, then remainder, remainder is simply f of minus b by a, is it? So you can check here, a is 1 and b is minus, b is also 1 here. In this case, in the given condition, x plus 1 may in x plus 1 you will see a is also 1 b is also 1 so minus b by a is minus 1 so hence right f of minus b by a f minus 1 and how much will that be so let's calculate f minus 1 it is uh, minus 1 cubed plus 2 minus 1 squared minus 5 times k times minus 1 minus 7 okay so this is minus 1 and this one is 2 and this one is minus times minus plus 5a minus 7. So net is 5a minus 6. I think, yeah, 5a minus 6. It's not a, it's k. Correct. So. 5k minus 6 now this is for the first one what for the second one for the second one uh, remainder when g of x and which is given by that expression x cube plus kx squared minus 12x plus 6 is divided by divided by what was the divisor in this case x minus 2 is it x minus 2 then remainder is how to find out remainder by remainder theorem it will be simply f of not f in this case g because the dividend is gx so g of 2 again by the same logic in this second case in the second case you see a is 1 and b is minus 2 minus 2 let me write it My, minus 2 okay minus 2 so minus b by a is simply 2 so f or g of 2 rather in this case will give me the remainder so that means 2 cubed plus k times 2 squared minus 12 times 2 plus 6 which is 8 plus 4k minus 24 plus 6 which is 4k minus 10 4k minus 10 now what was given so this is r1 clearly this was the remainder 1 and this is r2 remainder 2 right that's what they are saying r1 and r2 the remainders respectively so 2 r1 plus r2 is 6 so it's given that 2 r1 plus r2 is 6 that means what what is 2 r1 guys this is 2 R1. Sorry, this is R1. 
so 2R1 will be simply 2 times 5K minus 6 and R2 is 4K minus 10 see this one and this total is 6 so you have to find out the value of K now it's simple linear equation you will get 10K minus 12 open the bracket 4K minus 10 equals 6 so 10K plus 4K how much 14K and minus 12 minus 10 is minus 22 goes on the other side becomes plus 22 plus 6 so 14k is equal to 28 so k is clearly 28 upon 14 2 so this is the answer k has to be equal to 2 what is the underlying concept which we used here use of remainder theorem to find out remainders without dividing Okay, you could have gone for the longer division method and all that, find, found out remainder and then put it into this equation and then find out the value of k. But since we know remainder theorem, it, there is no need of going for long division method and then finding out the remainders. This is why, or uh, this is where we use remainder theorem.